welcome to shake math academy in this lesson we are going to see january 2023 s1 edxl ial uh, regression question number 6 regression chapter okay look at the question question number 6 a, a research student is investigating the maximum weight to y grams of the sugar that will dissolve in 100 grams of water at various temperature x degree centigrade where x is between 10 and 80 so okay this is a one okay give an interpretation of the gradient of the regression line regression line they gave it y equal to 151.2 plus 2.72 x this is nothing but y equal to uh, 2.72 x plus 151.2 it is looks like y equal to mx plus c this is the meaning okay this 2.72 is gradient okay this is the gradient what is meant by gradient gradient means y over x okay that means this 2.72 means 2.72 over 1 okay so for 1 degree temperature it will dissolve 2.72 grams of sugar that's all it's a way to tell if they are asking any gradient here per one degree increase or whatever it is in the x-axis for other kind of sums they may ask the what is the importance of the gradient per you start it degree and what is this value is y the y will change for one unit of x the y will change with the m values okay now the question number b use the regression line to estimate the maximum weight of sugar that will dissolve in 100 grams of water when the temperature is 90 degree this 100 grams of water is completely for everything so temperature is 90 degree so in place of x you put 90 2.72 times 90 2.72 times 90 244.8 plus 151.2 396 so part B is 396 part C is comment on the reliability of your estimate you you see they have given 10 to 80 here it is 90 it is out of the range anything above 80 and less 10 is not reliable okay okay coming to the part d okay use the regression line of y on x and the following statistics use show that Product movement correlation coefficient for this data is 0 0.988. Two. Okay, come here. Okay, they have given sigma y equal to 3119. Sigma y squared 851093. Sigma x squared 24500. N is equal to 2. Product movement correlation is R. R is equal to PMCC. So y over sxx over square root of sxs syy okay we found out sigma y y is called sigma x squared. okay what is sxx this formula memorize by yourself sigma x squared syy sigma y squared minus sigma y whole square by n s x y sigma x y minus sigma x times sigma y over n okay this is the case okay s x x now what they gave sigma x squared they gave n they gave but sigma x they didn't give so it is difficult to find out first one yes why why we need to find out this one okay 
sigma y squared they gave sigma x squared gave n they gave this we need to find out sigma y squared they gave n they gave sigma y they gave very simple okay Next is sigma xy, sxy, sigma xy they gave, no, okay, sxy we can find out in another way, because sigma xy we don't know, sxx we don't know, sigma x we don't know, so we have to do in another way, okay, there is another one formulas, Note it down. This all you note it down. All the formulas. These four formulas and another three formulas note it down. Another formula is y equal to a plus bx. Okay. This is our correlations. Here what it is, A is equal to Y bar minus B X bar. Okay, this is one formula. What is Y bar? Sigma Y over N. What is X bar? Sigma X over N. What is B? A we found out. What is B? B is S X Y over S X X. Okay. Now we will do one by one. Okay. A we will what is this formulas you write it down. This formula is also you write it down. Okay. Now y equal to One fifty one point two plus two point seven two x. So B is two point seven two. A is one fifty one point two. So one fifty one point two. What is y bar? Y bar is sigma y over n. Sigma y is what? Three one one nine. N is twelve. So Y bar is three one one nine divided by twelve. Fifty nine point nine. Y bar is two fifty nine point nine. We can tell it is two sixty. Okay, it is two sixty. So Y bar is two sixty. What is X bar? We don't know. Okay, here Y bar. Now we are going to find a value. We know it is one fifty one point two. Okay. What is y bar? Two sixty minus what is b? Two point seven two. What is x bar? We don't know because we don't x bar sigma x we don't know. So better we will put x bar. Now we are going to find x bar here. Two point seven two x bar here. Two sixty minus one fifty one point. I just rearranged. X bar is equal to two sixty. Two sixty minus one fifty one point two is how much? It will be one zero eight. One zero eight. Point eight divided by two point 
Calculate by yourself also, it is 40. X bar is 40. If it is X bar is 40, sigma X by N is 40. N we know it is 12. Sigma X is equal to 480. Okay. So, we found out sigma x is equal to 480. Copy down all. Now, you can write it here, sigma x is equal to 480, okay, and what, what you found, y bar is equal to, y bar 260, x bar 40. This is all we found out. Okay, erase it this one now. Our motive is to find our motive is what? To find R. To find R we need SXY, SXX, SYY. Yes, y, y, we can easily find out sigma y squared minus sigma y whole squared over n. What is sigma y squared? 851093 minus sigma y is 3119 whole squared over n is 12. Can you find out with the calculator? It is four zero four one two is coming. Okay, four zero four one two. Four zero four one two is coming. Four one two point nine, or we can say four one two point four one three. This is yes y y yes x x. How to find out yes x x. Sigma x squared, 24,500. You copy down this one first. Twenty-four thousand five hundred minus sigma x. Sigma x we found out 480 whole square by 12. Sigma x we found out with the uh, a plus bx model. Okay, calculate. It is 5239.4. Okay, 5239.4. Okay, so we found out yes, y, y, we found out yes, x, x. We cannot find s, x, y because sigma x, y nowhere given, but there is another formula. B is equal to S X Y over S X X. What is B? Y equal to A plus B X. B is 2.72 is equal to S X Y. S X Y we don't know. We have to calculate. What is S X X? 5239.4. Just S X Y you find out. Cross 2.72. 
SXY we got it, SXX we got it, okay, now SYY we got it, substitute here, R is equal to, instead of SXY, 14495. Instead of SXX, 5329. Instead of SYY, 40412. 40412. Find out this is a square root. Okay. Find out one four four nine five divided by square root of five three two nine four zero four one two is equal to point nine eight eight eight. What does that mean? It is very closer to one. Okay. For, for look at the question part D. You call, I just recap, we needed R equal to SXY over square root of SXX, SYY. SYY, they gave all the details. What is SYY? Sigma Y squared minus Sigma Y whole squared over N. Sigma Y squared is given. Sigma Y is given. N is given. SXX, Sigma X squared, they have given minus sigma x whole square they didn't give n they have given so our motive is sigma x we have to find out sigma x how to find out there is no direct relationship we can find out instead of sigma x we are going to find the mean mean means sigma x over n okay how to find the mean y equal to a plus bx this is our general, that regression line they have given. A equal to y bar, you just A as a subject, you do it. A is equal to y bar minus bx bar. Okay. Y bar, mean, mean of y bar means mean of y, sigma y over n they have given. B, B is the gradient they have given, 2.72. X bar, they didn't give, you are going to find out. A they have given y intercept to 
okay then from that you are going to get x bar right then with the x bar what you are going to do x bar is sigma x over n sigma x you find out n already is the x bar you got it n already you know then x bar times n is sigma x okay now sigma x you got it okay now with that help now go to the s x x sigma x whole x squared they have given minus sigma x whole squared by n okay so find out everything finish the matter s x of s x x you found out so r equal to s x y over s x x times s y y you found out s x x s y y now s x y you have to find out how to find out there is they didn't give sigma x y s x y what is the formula sigma x y minus sigma x times sigma y over n they didn't give sigma x y you cannot find in any other way sigma x y so there is an another way b equal to s x y over s x x okay s x y we don't know b we know it is a gradient 2.72 s x x we know that we found out so s x y equal to b times s x x you got s x y okay now substitute r is equal to s x y over s x x times s y y class you got it okay uh, then r value is if it is nearer to power 1 it is a positive correlation coefficient it is less negative to nearer to minus 1 negative correlation goes discuss the suitable w linear regression model to describe the relationship between x and y part e the points lie reasonably close to a straight line positive correlation and pmcc is close to one and therefore supports a linear model got it i have done another one question i think two years before uh, the same model question please watch my video that video will come as advertisement come as the end of the video please watch that regression line also both are same chapter thank you for watching now uh, i am january 2023 combined video also i am sending to you thank you